in the mirror, what would you see? A first-generation student surpassing family expectations. A non-traditional student, proof that there is no expiration to fulfilling your dreams. An international student exhibiting the strength to succeed in unfamiliar terrains. You look in that mirror and you tell yourself that you deserve to be here because you worked hard. I'm not your typical college grad. I am a foster care child and um, failed out of UMD the first time, <laughs> and now coming back and graduating with honors, and I feel very proud. When things get hard, keep pushing, and the reward will come and it will pay off. And so I always try to live my life by that, whether it's my academics, or if I'm learning a new skill, or even with my new baby. <laughs> Growing up, I used to be afraid to put myself out there or go for something that I wanted because I was afraid of failing. But when I came to college, I learned the hard way that if I wanted something, I had to work hard and really go for it and know that if it didn't work out, at least I left it all out on the field. The worst action is inaction. If you don't take an action, if you don't make a decision for a project for your future career, it's not gonna happen. To be honest, I really can't describe how I'm feeling. I'm the uh, first generation, and so um, I feel like accomplished. You come to not only do your studies and everything, but also to meet people and you know, figure out who you are and meet the people that you're gonna stick with <laughs> for a long time. She's mm -hmm. stuck with me forever, so even if she tries to escape, she can't. Yeah. We've been best friends since <laughs> freshman year, so. Chem One. <laughs> Chem One really brought us together, soccer brought us together. Yeah. My inspiration definitely comes from other people, I think. I'm a huge social person. I love talking to people and learning people's individual stories. Time here is so fast. I feel like I just moved in and now I'm graduating and moving on. In the last year, my best friend and I, we were able to like do our school from our car and like see different states and go exploring through national parks. So it's just like a nice little last year here. Teary-eyed just to say goodbye, but now it's like, it's amazing how much you realize how your child, young adult grows so much and has become so much more independent and really, you know, knows what she wants. And thanks to UMD, she's going to go out there and do awesome. I kind of get chills. It's like closing the chapter and feeling ready to move on while also still feeling like I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss these people. I'm going to miss this experience, but I'm ready to move on to the next part of my life. We're about to disperse doing some like different magical things, revitalizing the world in art. And we're just, we're like, we're going to be little seeds going around the country, around the world, and figuring things out. It's going to be awesome. If the whole world tells you it can't be done, it's worth it. If it's too long, too difficult, too far, too much, too soon, too big, or even too new, it's worth it. It has become clear that the world that we once knew has been changed forever. COVID-19 has shifted our definitions of a normal life. But if this pandemic has taught us anything besides learning obnoxious TikTok dances, it is that we are adaptable, we are resilient, and we depend on each other more than we ever knew before. Having like the hardest days mentally, physically, emotionally, and like the fact we all did it together, like I don't think I'll ever see a group of people the same. And you are worth more than an education. Graduation is not about receiving a degree, it is about reflecting on your accomplishments, on the people who motivated and supported you.
Hello, Bulldogs. Welcome to the 2021 UMD Commencement Ceremony. This is your day, a day when we celebrate your amazing achievements. You've met the challenges that have been placed in front of you, including a pandemic, and you have succeeded and persevered. So I say, congratulations. Congratulations on your graduation from UMD, and thank you for being a part of this incredible Bulldog community. I know this is not the commencement ceremony of your dreams, and certainly probably not what you and your family members expected or hoped for. And I personally very much miss having an in-person commencement, being able to shake your hand, being able to be with you as, as you celebrate, but I'm happy to be with you in this virtual format today. And I very much appreciate the tremendous amount of work on the part of many people at UMD to make this virtual commencement a reality. I know you've all worked hard to earn your degree. In an, and in addition to your accomplishments in the classroom, many of you have been quite involved at UMD in, in clubs and activities. Some of you have uh, volunteered in the community. Some of you have participated in recreational sports or athletics. A lot of you worked a job, or two, or three, or more, in order to pay your bills. Some of you are currently serving in the military or are part of our ROTC program. And I want to express my appreciation to all of you for your service to our country. Some of you are parents, some of you are caregivers. But what each of you has accomplished in your own individual way has been truly remarkable. I hope you come away from UMD with many wonderful memories of your time here and also with a good number of friends that you'll be able to keep in touch with throughout your life's journey. I hope that you come away from UMD with a desire to make a positive difference in our world. And I'm not sure there's ever been a more important time than the one we're living in now for all of us to focus on trying to make a positive difference. Now your contributions might be a monumental achievement, like a scientific discovery or a uh, re renowned book that you've authored. Or it might be an artistic performance that moves people around the world. But keep in mind, you can also make a significant difference to one person with, with acts that might seem small to you at first, but ultimately will really change that person's life. Take time to, to listen to others. When you ask someone, how are you? Truly pay attention to how they respond. Listen to their, their joys and their challenges and their goals in life. And be sure to slow down from time to time to connect to those people who are most important to you, to connect with issues in the environment that are important to you, and also to connect with those things that truly enrich your life. As your career progresses, please find time to mentor those who are younger than you. Encourage them to be curious and be inquisitive and be a role model yourself by also being curious. And always remember to say thank you to those around you. Your success today is due to support from many people. Some of those might be sitting next to you right now. Others might be living hundreds of miles away. But regardless, I encourage you today to take time to reach out to these people to say thank you and express your appreciation for their contributions to your success. Bulldogs, take pride in all that you have achieved. I'm sure for some of you, you felt like this day would never come. Perhaps others thought it came too quickly. Regardless, it's here and please enjoy it. I know that this is not how your college career was supposed to end. 
but facing and succeeding through challenges and through difficulties have brought you this far. And I'm confident that the class of 2021 will be much stronger because of this. You are an amazing and diverse group of students, and I hope you will have a grand graduation celebration of however you can do that with your friends and your families and still say, stay safe within this pandemic. Congratulations and go Bulldogs. We collectively acknowledge that the University of Minnesota Duluth is located on the traditional, ancestral, and contemporary lands of indigenous people. The university resides on land that was cared for and called home by the Ojibwe people, before them the Dakota and North Cheyenne people, and other native peoples from time immemorial. Ceded by the Ojibwe in an 1854 treaty, this land holds great historical, spiritual, and personal significance for its original stewards, the native nations and peoples of this region. We recognize and continually support and advocate for the sovereignty of the native nations in this territory and beyond. By offering this land acknowledgement, we affirm tribal sovereignty and will work to hold the University of Minnesota Duluth accountable to American Indian peoples and nations. Greetings, graduates and families, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, everyone joining us. I am honored to preside at this commencement on behalf of the University of Minnesota Board of Regents. To the graduates, I extend congratulations. Through your talent, hard work, and determination, you have earned this day of recognition. We not only celebrate your academic accomplishments, but also the potential you have to make a positive difference in the next stage of your lives. You'll be contributing to your communities, the state of Minnesota, the nation, and even the world. To all the family and friends joining from near and far, thank you for the countless ways you've supported these students as they earned their academic degrees. In keeping with commencement tradition, will the graduates please rise as they are able. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the regents, I now confer upon you the degrees for which you have qualified. Congratulations to every single one of you. If there were one word to define what graduation means, it would be reflection. If you looked in the mirror, what would you see? A first-generation student surpassing family expectations. A non-traditional student, proof that there is no expiration to fulfilling your dreams. An international student, exhibiting the strength to succeed in unfamiliar terrains. Maybe you grew up in poverty or low income, had to sell an arm and a limb just to make it through one semester. Or maybe you experienced something traumatic, had health complications, suffered with mental disease, lost a family member, or simply struggled. You look in that mirror and you tell yourself that you deserve to be here because you worked hard and you are worth more than an education. Graduation is not about receiving a degree, it is about reflecting on your accomplishments, on the people who motivated and supported you, on this person you have evolved into and the ways you can hone your newly learned skills towards betterment of the world. They've always told us that college is not a realistic example of the world. They tell us we need to get out and experience the real world. Well now, here's our chance. In the wise words of President Obama, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. It has become clear that the world that we once knew has been changed forever. COVID-19 has shifted our definitions of a normal life. But if this pandemic has taught us anything besides learning obnoxious TikTok dances, it is that we are adaptable. 
we are resilient, and we depend on each other more than we ever knew before. Class of 2021, the class that went through their entire senior year in a pandemic together. We will be known as one of the most resilient classes to graduate from UMD. In this past year, we have overcome barriers we never thought we would have had to experience. Who would have thought we'd have to worry about finding toilet paper stocked in the grocery store? Though it is easy to avoid looking back at the pain and turmoil that 2020 brought us, we must remark upon the things that we learned and the skills that we acquired. We did not quit, we persevered in education. We learned the importance of balance in not just our physical health, but our mental and social health, our spiritual health. We have learned the necessity of taking care of ourselves in order to maintain sanity. We have also developed a huge advantage in being forced to understand technology to a better degree than before. Zoom and FaceTime brought us together with our loved ones that we had to avoid to protect. The separation from family and community revealed the dependence we have on social interactions. Though COVID-19 kept us apart, it brought us closer together than ever. We have the shared experience of a traumatic pandemic that allows us to be able to relate and understand each other. This common ground bonds us for life. Class of 2021, we have developed the tools to overcome some of the greatest of obstacles. We have what it takes to spark the change we want to see in the world. We have the resilience to never give up on what we believe and the strength to fight for the change we want to see because we are the ones that we've been waiting for. I will close with a poem I wrote while thinking about how much I believe in this graduating class. Take a look at yourself. What do you see? Yes, a graduate, but there is something beneath. Great gusts of winds tore up roots of trees. There have been earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, and disease. Yet here you are, pushing through it all, with only a few scars for them to know. The triumphs you've overcome, the everlasting uncertainty we know too well. Feed to your strength for years to come. Stand up and give a bow. You are your ancestors' greatest dreams. Spread your light, continue to grow. We have survived together. Now let's steal the show. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome family, friends, and class of 2021. It is a great honor to be speaking to all of you today. I'd like to start off with saying congratulations to the class of 2021 for not only making it through all four years of undergrad, but doing this through a worldwide pandemic and everything that came with it. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Erin Cecil and I'm proud to be graduating from UMD with a double major in psychology and cognitive science. The beginning of our freshman year was the start of a new chapter for all of us, and for many, it was scary. We were on our own trying to figure out how the bus system worked and how we were going to manage taking all these classes as well as a social life. We were away from our parents for the first time and got to decide what we wanted to do. It all sounded great, but then the dreaded question we had all been avoiding set in. What is your major? Like a lot of incoming freshmen, I didn't exactly know what I wanted to major in, let alone what I wanted to do after graduation. I picked my majors because I had an interest in the brain and thought, why not? But as we all know, things don't go as we plan and our ideas can change over the four years of being in school. Personally, I changed my mind on what I wanted to pursue at the end of my junior year. Thankfully, I didn't have to take any extra classes, but it was an intense process of trying to figure it all out, and I'm sure many of you have faced the same or similar situation. We made it through the past four years with many laughs and some tears, but we made it. So here we are today, about to close this chapter and start a new one. We're about to enter the real world and get big kid jobs. Or for those pursuing more schooling right away, you have to figure out classes for the fall and probably new living situations. 
Two messages that I want to share with all of you as we enter the next chapter of our life is firstly from a quote I read. Be committed. If you believe, but you can't say why, it's worth it. If you don't know what's going to happen, but you know you can't resist the urge to find out, it's worth it. If the whole world tells you it can't be done, it's worth it. If it's too long, too difficult, too far, too much, too soon, too big, or even too new, it's worth it. If it's crazy and makes you afraid, it's worth it. If it's demanding, it's going to teach you something about yourself, and that's worth it. Growing up, I used to be afraid to put myself out there or go for something that I wanted because I was afraid of failing. I just always assumed that if it's meant to be, it will be. But when I came to college, I learned the hard way that if I wanted something, I had to work hard and really go for it and know that if it didn't work out, at least I left it all out on the field. Something I've learned throughout my four years here at UMD is that in order to find what you love, you need to keep looking and don't settle. My parents always told me, stay hungry, go after what you love, and that if you want something you've never had, you have to try something you've never done. Secondly, we all grew up dreaming of crazy ideas of what we wanted to be. And over time, that dream had to be turned into a reality. And instead of being asked what we wanted to be, we were asked, what are you gonna major in? What are you gonna fall back on if that doesn't work? I had heard a brief interview of Denzel Washington where he said, don't fall back, fall forward. Meaning, don't quit. Don't fall backwards. It's okay to fail. Everyone does. And if you don't fail, you're not trying hard enough. You're not going to be perfect at everything. It takes time and practice and hard work. So be committed. Go after what you want in life and keep failing until you've reached your goals. So with that being said, here's to the class of 2021. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you the best of luck as you take the next step.